This tutorial is designed to assist you in learning how to input data um, into SPSS for a Kruskal Wallace test, which, as you know, is a non parametric version of the one way analysis of variance. So, to begin, we will read this problem and then input the variables and the data into SPSS. The problem You've been asked by the weight man loss manager at Mission Slim Possible a large weight loss center to determine if exercise type jumping rope for 15 minutes every day one hour Zumba class twice per week or walking for one hour every day influences the weight loss of overweight clients they randomly select 90 overweight clients from the weight loss center and randomly assign 30 to each of the three groups jump rope, Zumba, or walking after participating in their assigned exercise type for one month weight loss is calculated for each client Determine if there is a statistically significant difference between the weight loss influenced by the three exercise types. Use a .05 significance level, report your results in APA format. So we will begin by identifying the dependent variable, which is weight loss. And as you can see, weight loss is scaled. It's a scaled data, and we'll be putting that into the software indicating that. And the independent variable is exercise type, which has three levels, uh, jump rope group, Zumba group, and walking group. So we will go to a blank SPSS file, click on variable view, and type in uh, the independent variable, which is exercise type. Then we will come over, we'll get our eliminate our decimals, and we are going to label the first group, which is the jump rope group. So everyone in that group will be coded as a one. And we'll add that. The next group, which is the Zumba group, will be coded as two. And the final group, which is walking group, the walking group will be coded as three. And as we mentioned previously, uh, this data is scaled. Excuse me, this data actually is nominal because we're identifying three different groups with that coding. Our dependent variable is weight loss. decimal and in this case weight loss is a scaled variable okay now back to data view and now we will input the data we will begin by inputting uh, weight loss the dependent variable for the jump rope group so we'll copy and then paste that here and because it's associated with the first group, it's coded as a 1. We'll put a 1 in this column for this group. And that goes down to there. Then we go to the next group, which is the Zumba class. And copy and paste the weight loss data there and code it as a 2, or it's been coded as a 2, and we will input 2's next to that data. And then finally, we will copy the weight loss for the third group, the walking group, and paste it here, and we will code that as a 3. Copy and paste. Now you're ready to run the analysis for a Kruskal-Wallace test.